Hi everyone, Mike Masters here. I arrived in Punta Cana on January 10th and was there until February 24th. This is the longest period of time I've stayed in Punta Cana on one visit and I hated coming back home to the States, but this is where I work and live until the moment I'm fully prepared to make my move to Punta Cana permanently. So here's a quick review of my stay in Punta Cana for these past seven weeks. I enjoyed visiting many projects in Cana Bay, Vista Cana, El Cortecito, Punta Cana Village, Las Canas, Cap Cana, and other parts of town. I also had the privilege to have met and interviewed developers, builders, bankers, and owners of some of these projects, and it was enlightening and educational to say the least. And mostly, I appreciate the time they took from their busy agendas to meet with me. I've invited them all to subscribe to my channel, so if they are watching this video, I just want to again say thank you for the honor and privilege of meeting with you, and thank you for sharing your knowledge, insights, and future plans with me. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. So what are the three things I liked most about Punta Cana? Well, these are my points of view based on my personal experience. Number three. Number three is the weather. It's 80s all year long on average. The sun is hot and you will need sunblock if you don't want to get scorched and a hat to protect your scalp. But it's the perfect temperature to enjoy the beach or the pool and of course, some nice ice cold beverages of your choosing. Number two. Number two, everything is a few minutes away in either direction from the downtown Punta Cana area. You can get to Macau Beach, Cana Bay, Vista Cana, Punta Cana Village, and Punta Cana Airport, which is directly across the street from Punta Cana Village. The furthest you'll travel is about half hour from the downtown Punta Cana area. Number one. Number one, there are so many amazing investment opportunities. Now, prices have gone up considerably there due to the amazing boom that hit the area during the COVID-19 pandemic because people experienced lockdowns with nothing to do but stay home and realized, hey, wait a minute, I can stay home and enjoy beautiful weather, sit on my terrace, balcony, or your yard with a pool if you choose to have one built, and get the grill fired up and start barbecuing. These things you couldn't do in the cold weather during the pandemic in most cities in the US, Canada, and Europe. So lots of people started looking at Punta Cana. And although prices have gone up some, there are still so much going on there and there's so much you'll be able to enjoy there that this is definitely a place you can get a lot for your money. For those who ask me for a very low price properties in Vista Cana, there is in any, but there are other projects away from Vista Cana like Crisfer, Jardín Estres, and others alike that have lower price units that are very nice but are not in tourist areas like Vista Cana, Cana Bay, El Cortecito, and so on and so forth. And this will be reflected in the prices. But the opportunity to have a summer home or even a permanent home, Punta Cana has a place for you. So there you have the three things I like most about Punta Cana. Now let's go over the three things I liked least about Punta Cana. Again, these are my points of view based on my personal experience. Number three. Number three, not all beaches are clean from seagrass. There are beaches that are full of it and no one cleans them up. They pile up and there's a bad smell from it. This is the case in the beach at El Cortecito. Those who visit or invest in that area will have to deal with this seagrass unless someone does something about it. There's a lot of tourists and investors alike in this area and I think this problem needs to be addressed and rectified. Number two. Number two, traffic in the downtown Punta Cana area. This area is growing and there's many new projects being developed in the area. There's a jumbo supermarket and it's got everything. It's like a Walmart. There's also a variety of restaurants, businesses, bus stops, a gas station, and much more. The problem is there's one lane in each direction and this is right off the boulevard. So all that traffic bottlenecks in this spot and you need to kind of muscle your way through. Number one. Number one, in the section called El Cortecito, the streets are very narrow and it's just one lane in each direction. And there's way too much traffic going through these streets because not only you have the commuters who need to go through these streets, you also have the tourist buses and the construction vehicles. And on top of all this, you have heavy foot traffic as well. And that's because the area has many options in restaurants, bars, shops, services, boat excursions, and all sorts of water activities. I learned is because I was in an Airbnb unit in Cocotal and there were times I had to drive to or through El Cortecito to get footage on projects, to meet with clients, or to get to other places and I cut through there and experienced this every time. 
Well, there you have it. My three favorites and my three least favorites. So I invite you to leave your comments below with your list of likes and dislikes. But all in all, my experience in Punta Cana was unforgettable and I loved it. I mean, the food, the people, the service, the hospitality. I have nothing but good things to say about it. I've met some very nice people and forged many new relationships. I even had the privilege of meeting Mr. Frank Ranieri, the man credited for building what is known today as Punta Cana, and I enjoyed our brief conversation very much. Kudos to him, his organization, and partners for building the location many of us are enjoying and investing in today, and for creating the best airport to fly in and out of, Punta Cana International Airport. Saludos, Mr. Ranieri. So if you're interested in investing in the Punta Cana area, shoot me an email to mikemasterspresents at gmail.com. With me, you get facts, no fillers, no sugarcoating, no lies, just to get you to purchase a property. I will give you the bare truth on the properties and projects you want to know more about. So reach out to me and let's talk. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's content. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of future videos and share it with others that you think may benefit from this. And again, leave your comments below on your points of view on the likes and dislikes of the Punta Cana area. I'd love to hear from you and others can read it as well. Until next time, have a great day.